Welcome back. Now, what worked for the Salman Khan star of Bajrangi Bhaijan at the box office is perhaps the feel-good and heartwarming story that unites India and Pakistan. Now, a young Pakistani girl who cannot speak is stuck in India and is taken home by Salman Khan um, uh, to Karachi. But in Karachi, there is a real story of a speech and hearing impaired Indian girl stuck in Karachi for 14 years and with all efforts to trace her family in India have remained unsuccessful so far. In fact, how did she get there? It was the P Punjab Rangers who brought her to the Edi Foundation some 14 years ago and uh, after spending some time there, she was taken over, she was shifted to the Karachi shelter by Bilkis uh, Edi who is a philanthropist there and is also known as the mother of Pakistan and she is named her Geeta and Geeta is 23 years now. How is this story going to end? We've had in fact a Shishma Swaraj comment on this. So we've had Shishma Swaraj tweet on this uh, saying, I have asked the Indian High Commissioner to Pakistan, Dr. TCA Raghavan, to go to Karachi with Mrs. Raghavan and meet this girl. And now let's uh, go across to Yusra Askari who joins us on the phone line. Yusra, I understand it's, it's the same reaction to the film Bajrangi Bhaijan in India and in Pakistan. And here we have a real life story. What are the developments that you are hearing? We've had Shishma Swaraj tweet on this saying that she's asked the Indian High Commissioner to actually go and meet this girl. What are you hearing on this? Uh, Kulsum, this is not the first such attempt that has been made to reunite Gita with her family. Uh, it has happened multiple times over the course of the last 12 years and attempts have been made but to no avail. I spoke with Faisal East, the son of Bill TCD a short while ago. He has said that they are awaiting the visit of Dr. T.C. Rahman and his wife. That visit has yet to be scheduled according to the Indian High Commission in Islamabad and is likely to take place in the next one or two days. At the moment, Gita does continue to remain at an ED home in Karachi. It is here that she has lived over the past 12 years. Gita was a name given to her by Mrs. Bilkis E.D. because of the Holy Scripture. A small mandir has also been made within the premises where Gita prays and asks for her return home. What we do know at the moment, Gita is looking after disabled children and is part of the E.D. volunteer team. A Facebook page has been set up by Bilkis E.D.'s grandson, Saad E.D., and they are asking for people to help them find Gita home and take her back to her family. Good one. Absolutely. Yusra Askari there. Thanks very much for joining us with that. <laughs>